Right, this is Fed of Sonisphere 2011. I'm here with uh, Austin and Ben from Rise to Remain. How are we doing? Not too bad. Very Pretty good, decent. thank you, man. You've got to say, you've just come in and you're covered in rain. And uh, I take it, it's really wet out there. It is. It's absolutely pissing it down. <laughs> I hope it stops and uh, so we can catch some bands later on, eh? Yeah, for yeah. sure, yeah. Really, now we'll go through all the tents. Yeah, yeah <laughs> well, we're, in, we're, we're actually in the tent today at about 8 o'clock, so, you know, you never know. Might work to our advantage or, you know. Oh, it will. Be people. <laughs> I mean, obviously, people like the music, but it's also shelter, isn't it? So two in one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Two birds with one stone, right? Yeah, cool, man. I mean, you guys have been um, around a fair deal, you know. Um, I mean, festival-wise, download and Sonosphere and many shows and supported major acts. And I um, understand you're going on a headline tour in, later on in September, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So. The, the album's out September 5th, and we kick off the uh, tour September 7th. So literally straight out as soon as the album comes out. That's it. And it, so the album's out, obviously, to come with that as well. Yeah, yeah September, yeah. man. I know um, it, Colin, uh, the producer behind it, he worked with Machine Head and stuff. And, uh, what was he like to work with? He's phenomenal. Like, He's pretty much responsible for creating a massive chunk of like metal sound. And uh, to work with him was kind of like this great opportunity. He literally kind of brought us out of ourselves. Got the best performance and kind of a sound, I guess. Yeah. You know, I mean, for he, our first record. He had, he's got an insane ear. You know, he's an absolute tonal genius. You know, he knows what the album's going to sound like before he even yeah. presses a button. You know, he's got like the exact tone he wants, the exact, you know, vocal sound he wants. And, you know, the whole, whole process of tone testing is just him getting that out of his head and, you know, mixing it with your ideas, how, you know, you want your album to sound and stuff like that. He's really easy to work with. Um, he definitely, definitely busted our asses a couple of times, you know, really, really, really made us work hard. from a band point of view, the last thing you want is, is a producer or anyone who kind of just wants to take one and just go with that, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, needs yeah. exactly. To the limits. Exactly. Be honest, if something's not good, just be there, honest. Totally, there's yeah. absolutely no doubt that we came out better off for it because, you know, that's, that's the whole thing about, you know, album one, that's your first experience. You've got to be pushed to the edge, you know, step back and we're so happy with how it turned out yeah. that, you know, we wouldn't change a single thing about the way that uh, the album was recorded. Not too well. Very, very happy. I, mean, I, I think in the hands of a wrong producer, no matter how good a band is, it might, you know, it potentially ruins the band as well, you know? Yeah, totally. I've listened to some, like, awesome, well, what I think are awesome bands, but the recording, like you call them a live band instead of, as opposed to a studio band as well, it yeah. sounds shitty CD usually sometimes, you know? Yeah. yeah. Definitely, man. <laughs> yeah, man. So what's next for you guys? I know the album's coming out in September, you've got a UK date, what about anything international? Well, after that we got a tour with um, with Trivium. And we're doing uh, we're doing just Europe with yeah. Trivium and In Flames, and uh, we've got more stuff to be announced as well. Um, it's pretty, we, yeah, sorry. It's pretty shock or block. I mean, we've uh, since the album coming out, we've got a, like a really good run of really promoting it, so we're pretty much busy right up until December next year, playing with some awesome bands, obviously. Yeah. We've got a load of cool stuff to come. We're really, really excited. Really excited. Nice to so. see you guys getting around. You know, I'm the hardest working back. I'm in touring back as well. You know. Yeah, I mean, you know, we, we pretty much live on the road now. You yeah. know, I mean, it's, it's our job, and we wouldn't have it any other way because it's, you know, it's what we love, what we love doing. We're very, very lucky to be able to it's do something. Show we as well, love. isn't it? You can't, you can't recreate the atmosphere of a live show on a CD. No, you Absolutely. can't. No, you can't. No. Absolutely. Live, live show is what it's about, man. You know. Yeah. No, I agree. Yeah. Sometimes I think maybe sometimes the smaller, the, the more smaller the venue, the more intimate becomes as well. Yeah. Yes. And there's all kinds of different shows. Like there's, there's atmospheres at big shows, like, and there's the atmosphere and intimate. Like, it's a real like it's, it's kind of you have to train yourself to do, deal with both and I guess that's what we kind of learned to do in the last few years like yeah. nah, it's good man it's, I'm, I'm happy to see you guys you know getting around you know and uh, thank you for taking the time out and um, hopefully you enjoy the rest of this and it stops raining <laughs> <laughs> yesterday's at least today is better than yesterday's and uh, yesterday oh, was, it, was really bad was it raining oh, really? all day yesterday yeah it was uh, up until about three o'clock it was just bad <laughs> well it wouldn't be it's England isn't it it's got uh, to have a yeah, bit yeah. of rain you know? but again <laughs> it's middle of July it should be alright you know but it's not but, yeah, it's always the way taking the time no out man pleasure to meet you guys thank you very much man see you soon yeah, yeah, yeah see you soon cheers